Vire Next for Maya now supports the use of adaptive dome lights in your scenes. You can also automatically adjust the camera exposure and white balance without the need to be familiar with the intricacies of the camera settings. First, we have set up the render camera beforehand to render the interior. Also, note that we have enabled the NVIDIA AI Denoiser Render element here, which uses artificial intelligence to denoise the image and gives us a clean preview very quickly. We'll discuss denoising in more detail in the next lesson. All right, let's start a render. As you can see, right now our scene is somewhat dark. To fix this, let's select the dome light and apply one of the provided HDR images by dragging and dropping it into the dome texture slot. More importantly, let's enable the new dome adaptive feature. This will automatically optimize the way V-Ray samples light in the scene to concentrate sampling in the right spots, as well as increase the render speed. Let's start the render again and observe the effect it has. As you can see, our scene has some more light in it now, but it's still not bright enough. Traditionally, we could manually tweak our render camera settings to set the proper exposure, but this process can be time consuming. Let's explore a way we can get around this issue much faster using V-Ray Next. Go ahead and open the V-Ray settings and let's navigate to the Overrides tab. Expand the camera section and you'll see that we have two new features, Auto Exposure and Auto White Balance. Let's try them out one at a time to see the effect they have on our image. You'll see right away that the Auto Exposure automatically adjusts the brightness of the scene, making the entire room much more visible. However, the color temperature of the room is a bit too warm for my taste. Let's enable the Auto White Balance checkbox and start another render to see how it looks. As expected, the Auto White Balance automatically calculates the color temperature of the scene and adjusts the white balance so that the white colors appear neutral. With just a few clicks using Viri Next's smart new features, our scene already looks much better. Now, Let's experiment with two additional HDR images so we can get a feel for how the scene looks in different lighting scenarios. Again, the auto exposure and auto white balance make it super quick and easy to experiment with the light in our scene without any need for manually tweaking settings to get a good result. Let's try one more HDRI variation here, this time using the same one as earlier, but slightly rotated. As you can see, Viri Next makes it easy to focus on the artistic aspects of rendering your scene, while still giving you the power and flexibility to create whatever you set your mind to. Lastly, if you prefer to save them, you have the option to transfer the auto exposure and auto white balance settings to the render camera settings. Simply select the camera and click the transfer to selected camera button, and you'll see the original ISO value changes so that your depth of field and motion blur settings remain unaffected. 